Yemenis have been trying to flee central Thais and northern provinces where a Saudi-led coalition is battling Houthi rebels. But many have been denied entry into southern cities, including Aden, and hundreds of northerners already in the south have been forcibly displaced. In testimonies provided to Al Jazeera, some business owners say they were told they'll be killed unless they pack up and leave. We had a shop, but they stormed our places and kicked us out. They even took my medication for my knees. I was working in Adin Mullah at a restaurant. I was kicked out. I was harassed and beaten. I urged them to fear God. They confiscated all stalls which belonged to northerners. This is my mother. They took all our money. Human Rights Watch says Yemenis with northern backgrounds face difficulties entering Aden at checkpoints, sometimes held for hours, questioned, occasionally turned back or called derogatory names. I was trying to travel to Saudi Arabia but was turned back. I had visas, papers, everything, but they refused to allow me to access the airport. He took us off the bus and kept us standing. We asked an officer to have some mercy. We're old men. But after he saw the ID, he said, you're an old man and I don't want to put you in jail, but I don't want you in Aden either. When we showed them IDs, they said these won't be enough. They took us to prison and left us without food, drink and care. They said they would hold us for a little while and then they would deport us. Four years ago, the elected government called in the Saudi alliance to help defeat Houthi rebels. But fighting continues in the north and no single party seems to be in control of the south. The South was its own country until unification in 1990, and now many there are again openly calling for secession. Divisions have also appeared in the Saudi-led coalition, despite repeated denials. In January, secessionists backed by the United Arab Emirates took over most of Aden. They took it from the forces of the internationally recognized government, which is ironically supported by UAE's coalition ally, Saudi Arabia. And as the old cracks reappear in war-torn Yemen, its people find themselves stranded between competing interests. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.